All right. The last thing, and I'll be quick, is duplicating. Let's say you have a list of users or a list of icons or whatever. Anything you want to duplicate, it will automatically duplicate that for you really quickly. You can set your number of vertical or horizontal duplication. You can also adjust your gutter and just manually drag the spacing between um, each of your duplicate items. Um, and as you, as you click in, so let's just say, um, I'm just going to find some assets here. And I'm going to, so I've selected those three things. And I'm just going to vertically duplicate it three times. And sorry, this is, um, there's a bug because it won't, it, the, the button to duplicate isn't there. So I, unfortunately, I can't show you how this works. But you can kind of imagine if I were to click on those items, it will just duplicate down or to the right however many times I needed to do it and, it. and I can just adjust that gutter spacing in between each of the different assets simultaneously across the board. So pretty simple. Um, but those are the four different uh, plugins that we have available for Craft. Again, everything is completely free and available to you guys. So um, I encourage you guys to check out this website. I showed you that initial video, but um, there's also four five-minute videos that explain how each of these works. So for example, if I were to play this, I'll just play a 30 second. The data video. plugin has three modes to get you designing with real data faster than ever. So Here in the custom everything. tab, you can fill your design with custom text or photos with just a few clicks. So if I want to drop in some randomly generated usernames, I just select a few bits of text and click names. It works the same with the rest of the categories. There are more pre-made categories in your list than are shown by default. Just click an open spot and see what's there. If you want to create your own category to pull from, click custom and create or paste in your list. Each. All right, so you guys kind of get that idea, right? There's just a whole bunch of things you can do with creating your own data sets there. Uh, all right, any questions on any of the things that I've covered so far with craft or anything else with prototyping, anything else I've covered? <laughs> All right. OK. Cool. So that's craft. Um, I talked about motion. We talked about the film. Uh, that's completely free. Um, let me talk a little bit about um, having meetings with your team. All right. Let's say uh, you want to get some feedback. There's two different ways that you can get feedback. One is you instantly generate a share link. This share link is completely free. They don't need to have an Envision account to view this share link. So if I were to copy and paste this, open it up in an incognito window so that I'm not logged into anything, paste that there, boom, I can see the prototype, I can interact with it, and I can comment on it instantly. Again, no need to have an Envision account in order to do any of this. Um, if I click on an area that does not have a hotspot, you'll see those hotspots appearing. I can also set. Um, tour points on my design. And when I set up tour points, it allows me to walk a user through the design to see the changes of the design as they've progressed through time. So um, you can see as I'm clicking next, 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 it's just moving me through different tour points that we've set up on this design and allows me to see um, how that design has changed, perhaps by the designer uh, presenting to a stakeholder, all right? Or to your investor, whatever it happens to be, right? Um, the other way that you can share out a prototype um, is you can email it, SMS it, and instantly on any mobile device, you can view it and interact with it instantly. All right. um, beyond that, we have Live Share. Live Share is a free instant meeting, very similar to GoToMeeting, WebEx, or JoinMe, but it's completely free. Unlimited participants, free and forever. Every single meeting that you invite uh, members to, you just have them join by uh, going to this URL. They don't need to download anything like Zoom or, or WebEx. Right? Um, you can have a free VoIP call. You just connect them on VoIP. You can have them dial in. In fact, we have company meetings on this system because it's completely free, and we don't need to use WebEx. All right. Everybody can simultaneously um, interact with the design, and everybody can simultaneously draw on your design. Every person that draws on your design, Envision will automatically 
assign a pen color. And with that pen color, Envision will automatically create a legend with that, those pen colors. Mm -hmm. All right, um, you can save these images to your snaps folder, or if you don't want to talk about the image here, um, and you don't want to interact with it and go to different screens, you can just go uh, back to the drawing board to a whiteboarding tool, completely free. Everybody can simultaneously draw here, and you can save these drawings to your snaps folder. You can even create multiple whiteboards and save those. Um, if you don't want to save them to your, your whiteboard or your snaps folder, you can also email it instantly to all the participants at once in your meeting and they'll instantly get it, uh, get that drawing. All right, any questions on that? Pretty straightforward, very easy, completely free, unlimited, forever. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, so that's live share. All right, um, so if, how do I access some of those images that I just drew? If I go to my grid icon in the upper right, hit my snaps folder, you'll see all those images that I had drawn from my meeting uh, as soon as my internet shows those drawings right there. You can see I've done a bunch of other drawings from other meetings that I do over and over again. All right, um, the other really cool thing is we have this live capture Chrome extension. So let's say I go to draperuniversity.com where a lot of you heard about Draper University, I'm sure. Um, and I go to the home page and I wanna just you know quickly grab that home page and put that into a prototype. Well, simply download my live capture Chrome extension, throw that, I can throw that into an individual prototype, I can throw that into my snaps folder, but it'll pull a full screen grab of the whole uh, uh, view, page view that you're looking at and throw that in to your snaps folder. So here you can see instantly it's available right here. And then you can modify each element? Or you can't modify each element. Um, that's too cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, that, 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 is, that, that would be really cool. Um, but you can, you can put this into a prototype. Um, <laughs> you could download it and splice and dice it in Photoshop. Um, and then re-upload it back into Envision, whatever you want to do, yeah. All right. Um, another really cool thing, um, how many of you guys use Photoshop? Okay, so about half of you. We have a, a live share Photoshop plugin. Um, some designers don't like this. Completely free, <laughs> completely free, yeah. You can uh, download this for Photoshop and uh, this allows you to do a live share meeting presentation from the canvas of your Photoshop instance, right? So you can instantly share that canvas to an investor right away and say, hey, these are this is changes that we're thinking about, you know, if, if you want to do that real time, yeah. Um, the other thing that I think you guys should know, again, I mentioned earlier the desktop syncing, so we sync with Dropbox, Google Drive, and Box, but we also have a free Envision sync application Completely free, free forever, yes. Um, so this is, this is something you can download, and what this will do is it'll automatically mirror all of your projects and all of your artboards and all of your screens <coughs> directly to a local Finder folder on your Mac. So um, you'll see here that there's an Envision folder. Inside the Envision folder, you'll see all of your project folders automatically created for you, and Envision will automatically create an assets and a, a screens folder for you. And all of these assets and screens folders for each of these projects simply replicate what you see in the web view. So it, anytime you want to work inside Illustrator, Photoshop, Sketch, whatever you want to use, you stay inside Photoshop, Illustrator, and Sketch, and then Envision will automatically pick that up depending on where you're saving it um, to the right prototype whenever you're, whenever you're making changes, all right? So very, very easy to use. <coughs> 